You had your first session with your ABA therapist today, your new one. Mm -hmm. She said that it was mm -hmm. great, but we had a little aggression. I said, what kind of aggression? She said, pushing, which has been an issue. So let's fix that. We have our florals mm -hmm. on. Yeah, you kind of match each other. Look at They're you. like fall florals. Fall florals, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to learn the sign for excuse me <gasps> in, in reference to like, excuse me, can I get past you? That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Do you think that's pretty cool? Yeah. The pushing aggression comes in place with like when Abigail wants to get out of an area or into an area or just to walk past you and you're in the way. And sometimes we're doing that because like in, when she's in school and we're just having therapy, it's like, this is the area that we're working. You have to stay in here. And she'll try to push her way through. And you know, you don't, we're not always looking just for compliance all the time. Like, you know, we do want her to be autonomous. We do want her to make her own choices and to communicate. And if she's able to communicate also, like it's not just like giving in to her too. If she's able to communicate, then we're able to say no. You know, we're able, you know, she has to be okay with like, no, we're not doing that right now, but I appreciate you communicating that. And I understand what you're asking for. And then other times to definitely reinforce that um, by saying, yeah, okay, sure. You want to get through? Thank you for asking. And, you know, but she'll be able to use this not just in getting out of doing therapy or school. This has a real world application too. You know, just walking through somewhere. She will walk into someone if they're in her path, you know, when we're out in public and stuff. So this could, this could help with that. And it's also going to help her understand and process that I can't just walk into people. I can't just push people to go in the direction I want to go. I need to communicate to them that I would like to walk through. And this will help her understand that it's not okay to push Two. people. Okay. Be very dramatic about it. That yeah. way it'll like, help. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you ready? We'll do this a little more hand over hand. You want to show her mama? Yep. Look. Look at mom. Ow. Now teaching signs uh, that have tangible uh, reinforcers or tangible uh, items that pair with that sign are all, is a whole lot easier. You know, for, especially if it's highly reinforcing thing like something edible or a, a drink or something that she enjoys playing with or a sensory item or something like that. We can say, this is the sign for this. You know, that's why she knows vacuum so well. She loves running the vacuum. She would ask us for vacuum, she just wants to plug it in. She doesn't want to actually vacuum, but she wants to listen to that white noise of the vacuum going. But those are easy to teach because because they're very reinforcing and it's an actual physical thing that that you can say, this is what this means. You know, does that make sense? Switch positions. Oh, so close. Excuse me. Oh, good. That's, right I mean, Excuse. that's pretty good. That's pretty good for because Abby does modify yeah. the sign, so all of her signs are a little different. Watch out, Matt. Here, come here real quick. Oh, we should tell Maverick. Oh, yeah. Excuse Say, me. Excuse me. Tell Maverick. Excuse me. Tell him. <laughs> Say, excuse me. Excuse me. We can me. definitely okay, do bad. the. Yeah, because, because. Yeah, she uses doesn't use vacuum very much. Right. So. And it's, it looks different. So, like with cookie, cookie is a C and then in the palm like that. But show them your cookie. Show them cookie. So Abby, there's more like a fist in the palm, you know? Mm -hmm. Hold on. Wait a sec. Wait, you can mm -hmm. say excuse me. That's what we're using this for. Yes, yeah, so so you're you don't not pushing push, people. Push through. Break. That was break. That was good, good, but you don't need a break yet. We're gonna do this first. Excuse me. Excuse me. There you go. Come on. So close. Look at what you're doing. It's very close. Excuse me. I think if we get it as close as we can to the real thing. Look. Put your arm out like that. Move your arm. It's like you're. It's like you're. Mm. Dollar bills. Mm. Mm. Right here. All right. So this is what you would do when you go. So we're going to teach the sign first, and then we'll build a model it later when she's trying to push past people. Right. So like, if you wanted to go sit on the couch right now, and you wanted to push past us, you would say, "Excuse me." Excuse me. Look at what you're doing. Look. Okay. Let's try again. You want to push past the couch? You want to go sit on the couch? Right. You would say, right there is good. Excuse me. Here, I'll let mom, I'll let mom talk. Okay. okay. All right. Go to the, so you're going to go to the couch? Okay. What do you say? Excuse me. Good job. Yeah, that's that pretty good. close. Yeah. Okay. Go yeah. ahead. You want to sit down? You want me to move? What do you say to you? You say, not all done. You say, excuse me, excuse me.
Remember? Excuse me. Sure, go ahead. I was in your way. <laughs> We're not having a cookie. <laughs> How do you have this much energy and you've been up so long? Since 4 a.m. Mm. Not the same. Been up since 4 a.m. and raring to go. Where are you going? You're whining. I'll move the chair in a minute. Table and chairs. Okay, so the. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> so, so this is going to be something that that's going to be learned over time because the pushing gets the same result, right? It's just like when she grabs us and pulls us yeah. to go, you know, we have to like, nope, tap my shoulder and say, come here. Like they both get the same result. And if it's reinforced, then we start back over like at the beginning zero again, mm -hmm. right? So this is something, you know, we've been working on the like tap and say, come here for a long time. Cause like grandparents will come over and Abby's like, come on grandparent. And they're like, you know, they're grandparents. So they're going to come with her. They're, they're not like, going to. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, and, and then we accidentally reinforce stuff all the time too. So it will take time to learn it. But our, the first tool is to give her the word mm -hmm. and then we teach her to use the word. Right. So. And you try to have as many um, opportunities. Right. So you try to set up opportunities. And then the, sometimes it's just going to be in her natural environment. Yeah. Like just a second ago, <laughs> we were in the kitchen and uh, and Abby was headed towards the stairs to go down to the couch. So I ran to get in front of her and she, she goes, all done. I'm like, no. Like that I, I said, I understand you're all done, but are you saying excuse me? I said, yes. But, I'm like, no, sign it. So then we, we But a it. lot of times she'll tell you that you're all done. Yeah. Which also means like, okay, you're all done with this seat. Instead of that, we can tell her, no, say excuse me. Or she'll come into the office and get us and say, you're all, she'll say, all done. We're like, <laughs> I'm all done? Like, yeah, because she wants you to come with her. So it's really cool how she has taken those words mm -hmm. and given them appropriate new meaning. Yeah. Because all done used to, used to start off with like, I'm all done working. I want to go chill. Mm -hmm. Now she tells us we're all done so that she can spend time with us. You yeah. know, like that's huge. Or so you'll move out of her chair. Uh, true. Yeah. Yeah, true. She has multiple, but it's great. It's great that she is. Yeah, that she has actually taken that word, given it multiple mean meanings that mean the same thing in IRL. So. Oh my gosh. That's in real life for you You're old folks. Cool. Us You're young kids cool. talk like that. Oh my lordy. Yeah. <laughs> CYA. You don't spell that one. That means see ya. Um, BRB. I next cannot. next time. I cannot. Bye. Can you show me the sign for open? Show me open. That's that's take a break. You want to take a break, huh? Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Oh. Is there is there a sign for weird face hugs? Oh.